What's up guys, today we're showing you how to catch some sheep's head. We're gonna use some live shrimp, I'll show you how it's done, all the steps and tricks. Oh yeah, get you on some of these. Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna go to this sheep's head spot and uh, hopefully pluck a few. Now it's March and the sheep head are just stacked up here in Florida. Luckily we made it down for the week. It's nice and sunny. Temperature's about 75 degrees, a couple clouds in the sky. You just can't really beat it right now. It's beautiful weather, the water is crystal clear. I went here the other day and picked up one. So we're gonna try and get some more, walk you through step by step of how to catch these fish. Right now they are stacked up on structure. Sheep's head love structure, and right now during Florida, or late February, March time, they're gonna be hanging around those jetties, other rock piles, uh, pilings near bridges, and any dock structure. They're just gonna be hugging that really tight. And so if you get down there with the right rig and bait, you'll be definitely catching some fish. Today I'm going with live shrimp on a Carolina rig, um, using small, small hooks. Number one size, small circle hook, or a small golden straight hook. Um, and just enough weight to get it on the bottom. If you put too much weight, you're not gonna be able to feel the bites that much. So I'm just using a little split shot floating a live shrimp right past them and they're going to be sure to pick it up. When you're sheep's head fishing, you want to make sure you're going around um, sort of a slack tide. It's a lot easier to pick them up when the water isn't moving as quick because it'll be easier to see the fish and target them. Meanwhile, when the water's ripping past those jetties, it's going to be hard to get a bait where you want to get it. So if you focus on those little slower tides, that's going to be a good, good time to go. Sheep's head will eat anything from filler crabs, shrimp, uh, small clams, oysters even. So whatever bait you have available to you, try and get as fresh as possible, and then throw it out there on the sheep's head, see if they're biting. If they aren't, try and switch it up. Um, that can often lead to more bites. The other day they were hitting live shrimp, so that's what I'm gonna use again, and toss it out there and see what happens. Let's get to the water. This is the rock pile we're hanging out for the day. Plenty of sheep's head in these rocks too. I've been seeing them pass by all day. See, I'm using a size one circle hook. Live shrimp. Oh. <laughs> nice live shrimp. Put it through the horn. Perfect. When you get a bite with the sheep's head, you want to let them play with it. That's the number one thing that people mess up on is they usually set the hook. But you really just got to let it play with it, let it play with it, and then set it like we know how to set a circle hook. Bring that rod tip down to the water, bring it slowly over your shoulder, you'll be on fish. We got one playing with my bait right now. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, money. You gotta watch out. Boom. Nice little sheep's head right there. Live shrimp circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Sweet. <laughs> you gotta watch out. See these teeth? That's, it's like human teeth right there what they use to get their bait. Hopefully we can get a bigger one. All right, now we're gonna let this guy go. A little too small to keep. <laughs> there it goes again. Kings of stealing bait, so watch out. You gotta make sure you keep that line taut. Go. <sighs> Number 
too. Bait that live shrimp, just let it float. Make sure you keep that line taut. Real taut. A little, I got a little a little uh, split shot ahead of it. Small, small hook. A little bit of leader, you're good to go. that one there but we're gonna try and get them again they're bait out right six. Do it in, got a bite right away. Well, guys, there you go. That's how you catch some sheep's head. Give you a little tips. Let me know if you got any other tips too. We'd love to learn. So drop those down in the comments below. Um, I hope I helped you all out. This time, you know, the sheep said they sure did get a lot of my shrimp, but we at least got three of them. So, you know, I don't know if that evens out, but it was a good day, fun time, a lot of bites, decent amount of fish. So we'll catch y'all next time. Hope y'all enjoyed.